Chow and I went out to look for a baseball diamond. We were going to decide where to build it. Well, Pat, the guy who was in charge of the grounds, he says, I got the ideal spot. So he took us over to a place over there on the east side of the campus. He said, come on, I'll show you. Well, we tried to get on to take a look at it, but he had to bring out the tractor to chase the bull off the field so we could uh, get out there and have a chance to look. We took a bunch of stuff for cows. It's beautiful here. There are no rocks on the place. I don't know if we'd ever be able to play here right now. Uh, Coach Al had to go through a lot here. There were five buildings here when we first came. The main administration building, the boys and the girls dorm, cafeteria and the chapel. Now why they put the chapel over by the guys dorm, I don't know. But they put the cafeteria over by the girls dorm. Uh, Coach Al is one of a kind person. Um, he had a great influence on my life. He gave me the opportunity to really understand how to work with the youth of, youth of tomorrow. I'll never forget the one thing that he told me. I was having some trouble when I was coaching. And he, caught, he told me, he said, Ruth, he said, who is the greatest athlete in the world? And I said, gosh, Coach Al, you know you can choose from a lot of people. And, and he said, no guess. And I took, you know, Ali. I went to the horses who were the best runners and triple crown winners and all the There were a lot to choose from. He said, no, none of them. He said, there's one thing you got to remember, that the best athlete in the world is the one that has the most fun. He said, when you work with your kids, they're the future of baseball and of athletics. He said, see to it that they become the best athletes in the world. But that's something that I'll appreciate from Coach Al. He's not only a coach, he's my friend and he's my brother. And I just uh, want you to know how great it is to see all of you people here to remember Coach Al. And I thank you and for the honor of being here to receive this jersey in his name. Coach, but Coach Overtree taught us so many things about life, how to treat people, uh, and not everybody does that. And it is just a rare privilege for us to represent him here today and, and uh, in honor of him. You honor a man today that is probably uh, one of the most gracious people I've ever known. I think the worst thing I ever heard him say was, all oh, shucks. And that was if I spent when I spent four years here. So it is a great privilege again for Gary and Ruth and I and all the other guys to be here today to uh, represent Coach Al. Arnold. Batting second in center field, number eight, Brian Shelburne. The DH, number 16, Mark Carlson. The third baseman, number 22, Trevor Allred. Playing shortstop, number 14, Ethan Vedrine. In right field, number 17, Nico Kaluda. Catching, number 27, Varia Costello. At first base, number 15, Luciano Villanueva. Playing second, number four, Nolan Kipp. And on the mound for the University of Dallas, number 20, Michael Byers. From the 2011 class, Martin Lopez. From the class of 2008, Scott Crisp. From the class of 2007, Augie Kirstein. From the class of 2001, Tony Galizzi. From the class of 2009, Tom Fogarty. 
from the class of 2009, Zach Atkins. From the class of 2000, Tapley Holland. From the class of 2001, Jake Carney. From the class of 1976, James Telefuse, also a former coach. From the class of 1998-2001, former coach James Vallad. From the class of 1966, Mike Tanko. From the class of 1965, Gerald Turner. From the class of 1963, Troy Miller. From the class of 1964, Gary Morris. From the class of 1958, Ruth Bruton. From the class of 2005, Pedro Gonzalez. From the class of 2004, Brian Spinner. From the class of 2005, Brent McFadden. Also from the class of 2005, Austin Ron. From the class of 2006, Coleman Moore. Also from the class of 2006, Chase Violet. From the class of 2006, Randy Buddenbon. From the class of 2005, Jason Saucedo. From the class of 2008, Chad Violet. From the class of 2011, Dave Rettinger. From the class of 2001, Mike Perdue. Former coach, Scott Myers. From the class of 2011, Philip Karkoff. From the class of 1999, Dave Bagiani. From the class of 2011, Delano Ponce. From the class of 2002, Jack Price. And finally, from the class of 2009, Clay Evans. Ladies and gentlemen, your University of Dallas alumni roster. It started with a, a wonderful ceremony honoring all the former players from the University of Dallas. There were a lot of different generations of, uh, of UD baseball here today. 
and the retirement of Al Ogletree's number was very special. Al's a great man, it means a lot to the program. And for me to be back on campus at the alumni game was, was exciting. It's great to be a part of it, and uh, I know Coach Holmes has a strong tradition going, and, and we're excited to be a part of that and, and continue that. You know, the baseball early on, it was a great game. If we were playing a five-inning game, I think the baseball purists would love the game. It got a little ugly at the end, but uh, it's one of those deals that the, uh, the current uni team uh, pulled it out at the end, which is, which is good. We want to see them win. Uh, the alumni have a lot of work to do. It's, a, it's extremely important to keep every pass player involved in the program. Uh, obviously, the guys here have a lot of pride in the baseball and the academics at, uh, at the University of Dallas. And what Milan, jo what Milan Joseph started uh, when, when he decided to bring baseball back to the university, uh, these guys have upheld his dream and his goals, and, and we're, we're, we're proud to be a part of that. We really are. Really are. Monsignor jo Joseph did a great job. And uh, to honor his legacy with this alumni game and, and see what he did by saying, hey, we're going to bring baseball back, it brought everybody together, and it's a special time at the University of Dallas. It sure is.